What's up? It's the Comic Coalition here for another video for you guys today. And listen, I know it has been a while, but I really want to get back to pushing out some content on this channel. But don't get me wrong. I never stopped pushing out content. I just created a new channel. And in fact, I just reached 70,000 subscribers over there on that channel. And I'm really comfortable with where that channel is at now. So I want to take some more time out for this channel. Because over there on that channel, I talk about true crime, news stories, really heavy topics. So to counterbalance that content, I really want to get back out here and start doing, you know, the things that I really love and enjoy. And what I love and enjoy doing is going out and finding really cool, really hard to find collectibles, toys, video games, you name it. But, you know, I never stopped hunting. I just stopped recording it. I, 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 I took a year off to really enjoy this hobby for myself and to stop making it about, you know, getting a video, having to have my camera out or my phone out every time I walk into a collectible store or a comic shop or a toy store. And I really just sat back and enjoyed this hobby to myself for like a year now. And I've picked up so much stuff. In fact, I think I've been buying more lately than what I was when I was making my videos back in the day. But anyways, I'm back. I, I've been to so many cool places and I did capture that on video. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be bringing you all videos, you know. I'm gonna try to at least pump out a couple a week. We'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm about to go to a cool little antique shop because my collecting, it's changed a tad bit over the years. Don't get me wrong. I'm still out here grabbing all of the new cool stuff, all the new Marvel Legends, SH Figure Arts, NECA, and stuff like that. But I've really been hyper-focused on picking up certain pieces for my collection, pieces that remind me of my childhood. Um, as a lot of you all know, I lost my entire childhood collection, you know, a long time ago. And I've been slowly trying to pick up certain pieces since then, but I've been really hyper-focused on picking up almost any and everything that really brings me back to the 90s and stuff. So I'm going to go to this little antique store, hoping they have some action figures, toys, and comics there. I'm not sure, but I have heard this place is pretty cool. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go check. So I'm at an antique mall right now. Let's see what we have here. Vintage presidents. Six dollars each for presidents. <laughs> yes, there is a Furby. <clears throat> but wait until you see this. How much is that? Would you look at that? I almost didn't come in this place because I thought it was going to be lame. But now I'm going to wind up spending money here, which is equally as bad as this place being lame. Who the heck is that? So you see it doesn't pick up on the Mariah Carey playing in the background. Dragon Ball Z always makes it in somehow. Where 
to begin. Where to begin? Okay, I am now back from the hunt and I want to show you some of my pickups. Now, like I told you all, I have been just really diving into finding random things, like random things that make me feel really nostalgic. And, you know, while I've been toy hunting off camera for like a year or so now, I've just been diving into grabbing some random stuff. I found a newfound love for collecting by not really 
always being worried about the newest thing out there, but going and finding just random pieces for my collection because I have so much stuff that just collecting normal stuff, it, it just started becoming kind of old and it seemed like, you know, the regular routine, having to go to Target and Walmart every single day, looking for the newest wave of Marvel Legends. And don't get me wrong, I still do that, but that's not exciting. What's exciting for me is finding random, off-the-wall awkward stuff like this figure right here. The reason I picked this up is because when I was growing up, I was passed down a lot of toys just like this. In fact, it was like an entire cowboy and Indian set. And the toys were passed down to me from my brother, but they were passed down to him from our uncle. And I believe these figures were made in the 1960s. So these are pretty old school cowboys versus Indians figures. I just thought it was something random for my collection. But while we're talking about Indians and while we're talking about something random, I had to pick up some of these old school Pocahontas cups from Burger King. Growing up, I had the entire set and I've been going back and picking up random Happy Meal and, you know, Burger King kids meals, toys and random nostalgic stuff. And they had this there. And I think they had the entire set, but I didn't want to grab all of them. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I probably will eventually, but I settled on two. And as you can see, I mean, I guess this is maybe a logical choice. Everyone likes the raccoon from Pocahontas. But I picked up this guy as well because I'm random. It's something about the randomness of stuff that that just really makes me happy nowadays. But while we're talking about movies and we just looked at some Pocahontas cups, how many of you all remember these from your childhood? But I also had to pick up a couple of VHSs. Um, when I was actually at this place, it was Halloween, so I could not leave without something, you know, horror related. And this cover, like, I don't know if the camera would do it justice, but it just sticks out. You know, the orange and stuff, it really pops out and it popped out at me as soon as I saw it. I don't think I've ever seen this movie, but I definitely will be popping it in the VHS um, in the VCR soon to see if it even works. But even if it doesn't. This cover alone is just worth it. Another movie I picked up. Now, some of you, I know some of you all have to remember this movie, Life Size. Um, this is definitely a random pickup, but I remember watching this movie growing up. They had it there as well, $3 clamshell. I don't think I have this in my VHS collection, but maybe I do, but I couldn't remember. So I just picked it up anyway. But the last thing I picked up was Daredevil issue 197 now the comic's in pretty good condition not the best condition ever but for those of you all who don't know this is actually the first appearance of lady deathstrike i'm not so sure that the store even knew that or else they maybe would have marked this comic up a little bit but i definitely found this you know and figured hey what the heck for the price that i found it at a few bucks I couldn't turn it down. I love grabbing, you know, comics with the first appearance of random characters that we all know and love. But with that being said, hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below, and I will see you all out there on the hunt.